Aya, I think they're ready. I think they're ready. Aya, turn the UV. Ah, ah. Vila Jasho, Vila Jasho. Over the last 40 years, we have had different people, different team players serve in different capacities here at DCIKZ. Some are still with us. Some have moved on elsewhere. Others have transitioned to glory. Most stories go untold. Today, I present to you the story of one of these people who is still with us for the last 35 years. Here is Betha Rokongo. My name is Betha Mudoni Rukongo. I am born again and I love the Lord. I am a wife to Bethuel Mwaniki Rukongo and uh, I am a mother to two adult children and uh, I am also a grandmother of two and really grateful to the Lord. I joined the Deliverance Church um, with my husband in 1989 when he just came from honeymoon. We had just gotten married, uh, having um, served in the Riverland Church easily. Then uh, we moved to Zimmerman because uh, I was working at Safari Park. My husband was working in Mombasa, which was far. So we found Zimmerman was convenient so that we could join the Riverland Church Zimmerman, where we are today. It has been a great uh, journey here in uh, the Riverland Church because a lot has, has really happened. Um, in 1990, around 1991, 1994, my husband got uh, relocated to Nairobi, so we moved out of uh, town. And just before then, when, uh, before we moved to out of town, I joined the ladies ministry. Uh, that time, the, the ladies ministry, we, we, we never had the enough space that we could meet here. We used, we used to go for the ladies' meetings at uh, Proisambo, a place called the Step Magazine. That's where we would meet. And sometimes we would go to Park University. That's where we used to sometimes go and hold uh, our meetings because um, we didn't have much. Uh, space uh, over here. I joined the ladies group, I remember a while ago, the ladies group three, which gave, uh, gave birth to many other ladies groups. Uh, later on, I became a, co a coordinator in that group till now, but today the ladies group is called the Lilies, and we have two other coordinators uh, in that group. Um, then uh, in around 1991, 94, uh, is when uh, we moved to out of town and uh, it was quite challenging because then the Riverland Church didn't have many churches out there. We had to look for a church here and there. Um, there wasn't the network um, online service like we have today. Today we are privileged that you can even watch your church when you are out of the country, when you're on holiday, when you are unwell, even if you are in hospital and you can access a uh, uh, an online link you are able to watch. But by God's grace, we got a transfer. We came back to Nairobi. I was still working at Safari Park. And uh, we moved to Ngumba Estate, which is near the Kenya Breweries. And uh, we settled there. There was a home cell that was being led by a couple, the Professor Duku and Grace. And we joined the, the home cell. Um, in 1995, while we were still in Guba, we got our second born child. Uh, and uh, uh, within a year or so, they moved to out of Guba, they went to their home in Kaskari. So we were left to be the cell leaders. We hosted the, the Guba home cell since that time. And the, the home cell started growing. We had the Kehato's family joining us. We had the Patrick Malebas joining us. We had another family that was called the Masharias and many others. And they were all blessed with their homes and they left Ngumba. And we were still left there, you know, now as the home cell uh, leaders. We have hosted the home cell uh, leader for the last uh, um, close to 20 years. Uh, if I'm not wrong, 20, 20 years, we opened our home to the home cell, so anybody who relocated to Ngumba, 
they found uh, a home cell in our home. And we thank God that we opened our house to the cell leadership or to the cell members because I want to believe that it is from there that the Lord has blessed us today. We have been able to move to our own home uh, in New Kombosi, where we are now. And we are so grateful, so grateful uh, to the Lord. In um, 1996, uh, my husband became the uh, chairman of the, of the Men Fellowship here in church. He actually told me that he is the one who began the, the Men Fellowship with the group called the Men of Vision because he discovered that men were getting born again, they would go back to their old nature. And uh, that's how he began the Men Fellowship together with Kinachitala. Uh, but uh, in 2006, October 2006, actually I think a month like now, my husband got unwell, he got a disease and uh, he had to go through the treatments and I really want to thank the Lord for Deliverance Church uh, family. My husband got the very overwhelming uh, support from our bishop, from mom, from the church leadership. I can remember the first time he was admitted in hospital. The men actually um, uh, contributed money. I remember they were in Kana Hall when they gathered and they raised money for uh, my husband for the treatment because it was a big disease. I remember the Maridas had just joined the church. They didn't even know him. They, they came in in support, supporting a person they didn't know. And I'm so grateful. That was the, the, a real warmth and a, a real support that I can say uh, was given to my husband that time when he got unwell. In 2006, February 2006, I left where I was working in the corporate and I came to work in the church office, in the bishop's office as the bishop's PA. And I have worked there since then for 18 years now, I must say. I sometimes don't even remember the, 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 the period. And I'm so grateful to the Lord because of the growth that I have uh, taken, uh, as I, I, I have actually achieved since, uh, since then. In 2018, if I go back a little, my daughter got married in this church here at the altar and it was such an overwhelming um, support. It was so um, also overwhelming for us because uh, when my husband uh, got sick, the doctors and said all kinds of things, we didn't know that we would walk our daughter down the ESO with the father, but we thank God that it happened. And uh, it was just because by the grace of God that he was able to walk the daughter down the ESO. It was really, really, really uh, a day of tears and joy uh, to what the Lord uh, had done. Then in, uh, uh, when I joined the church in, in uh, I said in 2006, uh, I, I continued working and until the Father's Vision uh, came in. So in 2009, I joined the Father's Vision. I went for the encounter, I went for the uh, um, Post encounter. That time, my husband uh, is already ailing. He's uh, 209. He was quite down, but the support we'd get from the church was really good, and especially the men fellowship. So grateful to the uh, great leadership of the men fellowship. Um, I joined the school of leaders in 209. My vision mother is Elizabeth Kungo, and the school of leaders has the father's vision has really, really empowered me. I remember that time when I joined the School of Leaders. It was not easy. My husband was in hospital. And there's a family, the Kehatos, James and Florence would come, pick me after the class, take me to hospital to go and see my husband, and then we would go home. That time our children were still young. The, the last one was getting to class four, and the firstborn was getting to high school. But uh, we still continue to get the support from the church prayers, visits, and the networks uh, was really encouraging. Uh, when we were left to be the, the, the cell leaders in, the, in, uh, in Goomba in 1995, that is when now the Father's Vision uh, was catching up. I remember the late Reverend Muede would come to visit us and see how we are doing the cell and give some guidance um, like so. 
until this time when uh, we had to relocate the people that we have been mentoring for the cell uh, uh, took over because the, the, the father's vision is about you know passing on the values and the leadership so I left the leadership to the, the, the people that I had uh, been uh, mentoring. One thing I can say is that uh, in the Father's vision, you really get empowered. It is in the Father's vision that I have really been empowered to be a leader, to be able to mentor others, to be able to guide, uh, because at the moment I am working, I am a guide. I am, uh, I am in the Celebration Ministries team serving at Shiloh. I am a counselor, you know, serving in the counseling uh, department. I also work in the protocol, giving support to the church uh, in the area of protocol, receiving the church visitors, and when we have, we have events and that kind of, say, of thing. And I am so, 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 so grateful. In the Rivana Church, I want to thank the Lord for the milestones that today you can be able to come up with an idea. Because uh, those days we didn't have the Daughters of Impact meetings, we didn't have the, daughter, the Daughters on Bedded meetings, we didn't have things like the coordinators training where we go out and we are networking with the other ladies, we are doing activities, we are being empowered, we have speakers. That time we didn't have, and today we have. We have the opportunity of going out and being empowered, being trained, networking with one another. I just want to say um, in that networking, in our church I have come to know many people. Most of them are really quite good, good friends of mine. And I'm so grateful, so grateful for the opportunity even to, to network. Maybe as a parting shot, I can say, if you have been in the Deliverance Church and you don't belong to a home cell, maybe you've not belonged to, uh, plugged into a ladies group, maybe you've not joined the Father's Vision, I would really urge you to join and especially the Father's Vision because you will grow, you get no people. One thing I want to say that I've really benefited and I've seen uh, very key in this church is when you are celebrating something or even when you're mourning. When you are celebrating, as long as you're in a network, you have connected with people, they will come to support. Whether it is a wedding, whether it's a baby shower, whether it's a graduation, whatever you are doing. And it happens especially during the School of Leaders graduation. People come to celebrate their own, doing anything they can do because those people have a belonging. Even when we lose the, the loved ones. I remember when I lost my mom, I lost my sister. This church really came to our home and people really wanted to know which is this church that comes to support their people like this. And I'm so grateful for, for, for networking because it's out of that spirit of belonging that you'd get that support. Uh, even when um, uh, people have, uh, have to do the dowry thing, we always find ourselves accompanying them to their village, even where there is no pin, we'll look for a way of getting there because it is part of belonging. Otherwise, I am so grateful and I celebrate the 40 years anniversary. Sometimes it's very emotional when I see where I, I have come from and where I am today. I am so, so grateful. It hasn't been without challenges, but the Lord has been so, so gracious. I can say I have found a family to Pastor Alice and to Bishop and the family, I give you flowers. Flowers for your patience, flowers for mentoring me, and flowers from, you know, sometimes I, I feel like I am part of the family <laughs> because really being in this church for that five years, I can say I have found a, a real good family. And today being the customer service week, I want to say that, um, it is a delight to serve in this, uh, in, this, in this church and the opportunity to serve, especially in different uh, departments, to see people come to the church office and they leave when they are happy or they are served, and especially in the area of uh, helping out those people who are maybe, maybe going through challenge, somebody who didn't have a food, and even to be able to see how they can get uh, uh, given you know, some food has really helped me. I can only say that every opportunity that you have to serve, do it with excellence. It may not be to a person, it is to the Lord, and those people are the ones that will cause you even to excel. Happy, happy, happy customer service week. I love you and may the Lord bless you. Happy anniversary, Deliverance Church, 40 years, and we are going and growing stronger. 
It is customer service appreciation week, but here in the house of the Lord, we're not necessarily serving customers. We are serving the people of God and serving the people of God is like serving unto God and the reward is so rich. So this is a call for you who sit there not too sure where to serve. I promise you there is room for you. And if there isn't, we shall create it for you. Find a place to plug in here at DCIKZ. We love you, everybody serving in whichever department. We appreciate you. We pray for you. But the God who sees what you do, the small things that you do, is a rewarder in glorious display. May that be your portion this week and forever in Jesus' name. This is my story. This is your story. This is our story. This is the DCIKZ at 40 story. Happy customer service week to you, my friend. That's what you should clap.